Hey everyone, it's Strange Michael. I hope you're doing well today. This is a review for Pen Pal by Dathan Auerbach. Auerbeck. Pretty sure it's Auerbach. Looks very German or Dutch, something like that. Anyway, so this is a novel, kind of a collection of short story type of novel, that kind of thing, a compilation, if you will, but kind of not, of a man recollecting memories from his very strange childhood involving some strange occurrences that happened to him. That's really all I want to tell you about. It's kind of a coming-of-age story. It's kind of a story about he and his best friend Josh, how they grew up around each other, how our main character would kind of move house to house. I say main character instead of his name because we don't really find out his name too much in the book. And it was kind of done purposefully, apparently, to make it feel like you're recounting these memories. But anyway, he and his mom moved quite a bit when he was growing up. He didn't really understand what the deal was with that. But as we read the book... He starts to find out things. He interviews his mom a couple of times to find out more information about some of the strange occurrences that happen to him. And therefore, we find out more in this diary, whatever this thing is supposed to be that we're reading, called Pen Pal as a novel. Now, just so you know, my exposure to this book is very strange. <laughs> like in 2013, I believe, I was working my first job after I graduated high school. I was working at Walmart, as a matter of fact, on third shift. And I would go home take a shower to relax because when you work third shift it already rocks your world you do nothing but sleep and work <laughs> unless you're a vampire and uh i would go home and i would sit down or get in the bath or whatever and i would have this channel on youtube that i would watch a lot called mr creepypasta who would of course read and narrate scary stories from the internet from the no sleep subreddit of the website reddit now i like no sleep it's gotten very rough in quality <laughs> over the years since this happened. But I believe this is around 2013, 2014, somewhere in there. Anyway, he started reading a series years ago called Pen Pal. And of course, these were broken up video to video to like an hour apiece, something like that. But they were in parts, you know. And I remember this story being something so special. And of course, that turned out to be Dathan Auerbach, Auerbach, whatever, that was writing these, publishing them on the No Sleep short story collection, channel, page, subreddit, whatever you want to call this shit. We have so many different social medias that have so many different titles for that. Now you know why I'm confused. Anyway, this was probably one of the most beautifully written horror stories in each, every single entry, basically, that would come out back in the day that really kind of blew my mind. It was kind of a slice of life thing. It still has that quality here. But eventually, Dathan took those stories and developed them into a novel called Pen Pal. He expanded them out, fleshed them out, whatever. And I think everybody universally seems to agree about this book, that the amount of quality in the writing and the pacing, the storytelling, the twists, the shocks, all of that stuff, the atmosphere specifically, they're wonderfully done. It is absolutely wonderful in that respect. If you're looking for slasher elements, that kind of thing, you're not going to really get that with Pen Pal. But... With the title, the beautiful cover here that you can see on my video, it's just so special. It is a vivid, eerie ass book <laughs> that will mess with you. It will stick with you. There are certain things that I saw done in this book, and also in the original stories I remember reading and listening to back in the day, once upon a time, that I've now seen done over and over again in movies, especially in recent movies and horror. Which is a shame, because no one gives this guy credit for the things that he invented for this amazing tale of stories that he came up with. The actual overall adult narrative of the adult recollecting all these memories of when he was a kid is not really a part of the book so much. Most of it is his hindsight. That's the enemy of this story. The hindsight, the things that he was dealing with, the things he finds out about his past as he gets older, as he talks with his mom. That stuff were just shocking and eerie and creepy. Things that I read in this book I will never forget ever again. And again, the beautiful prose from Dathan I believe is how you pronounce the name. It's wonderful. It's truly, shockingly creepy. And if anything, I would say this is one of the best books to ever come out of the internet. <laughs> you have asshats like Onision. You have asshats like, you know, the people that really don't put out quality stuff or stuff that just people don't give a shit about at all. But then you have things like this, Pen Pal, that just really revolutionized horror. I bought this book about six or seven months ago. When I was at uh, Barnes & Noble, in the horror section they had just developed at the time. And I was shocked when I saw the title, Pen Pal, and I was thinking, there's no way. This is actually the story that I read once upon a time and listened to once upon a time. And it turned out it was real. It was the real thing that I knew about, 
could not believe that that was a thing, that this had been produced, that it had been published. But here we are. If I had to recommend Pen Pal to you, I absolutely would. If you ask me, would I like this if I like Atmosphere? Again, 100%, I think you'll love it. It's fantastic for that. It's very well written, very eerie. The characters feel very fleshed out, very in tune with what the story needs to be. The jokes and humor in here are really good. Everything in this book that should be up to par from an internet, coming from the internet, coming of age book, it manages to get that perfectly. When it comes to Pen Pal by Dathan Auerbach, it's incredible. It's a wonderful read, and most videos that you will see on YouTube mentioning this book and reviewing this book will probably say the same thing, more than likely. If there were anybody out there who couldn't appreciate anything about this book, that would heavily surprise me. This has a little bit of an element of a YA book, but not like a Hunger Games YA, obviously, but not even like the YA horror stuff you see, like Rotten Ruin from Jonathan Mayberry. It's a very slow burn in a great way. But anyway, have you read Pen Pal? What do you all think about it? I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments down in the comment section down below, not only about the book, but about this video. Did you like the video? Do you hate the video? I'd love to hear all that down below too. Hopefully you'll tune in for some more reviews coming up soon. I don't know what's going to be the next on the list to read, but uh, I guess we'll see. Anyway, did you like Pen Pal? What did you think about it? Put your thoughts and comments down below again. And if I had to rate Pen Pal on a five-star basis, I think I would easily give this a five out of five stars. It is so good and so eerie. Eerie is the word that lingers upon this book. And every time I see it on my shelf, I will think of how eerie it was. Man, it's just wonderful. As an exploration book, as a boyhood book, it is just perfect for what it wanted to do. Anyway, thank you all for watching, guys. God bless you all, and goodbye.